I just realised I hadn't hit the record button, but this session is being recorded, but don't worry, all of the intro bits aren't as important as you. And that's the thing, because you just need to relax and you're here because we asked you to be here to tell us about your great idea. So off you go. Okay, ma'am, uh, I, I just want to share my screen. I was just say, I've enabled the sharing screen so you can. So if you have some slides, please. Wow. Can I start now? Of course, please begin. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, every, uh, to everyone for being in here to give me the chance to uh, like to speak something about my idea and uh, what I am thinking right now at this moment in the COVID situation in Bangladesh. So uh, this is my project, uh, it's named like Let's Do It. Okay, Let's Do It is an, uh, like uh, Let's Do It Life Simulation for Education in Bangladesh. So what we are proposing, we are proposing educational system, system in Bangladesh in lock so let's like take a look on the educational background of Bangladesh. Okay, so according to the World Bank, there are like the literacy rate of Bangladesh is 73.91 percent, where uh, the annual increasing of educational literacy literacy rate is 1.02 percent, uh, where 108,000 non-English medium schools established in Bangladesh, where 196 only English medium schools in uh, here in Bangladesh, according to the new registration system. And there are a different educational system in Bangladesh, which is religious educational system. That is called we Madrasa, which is far beyond from the like education we got, like scientific education we got. But that is based on only religious education system. So we are also including them in our simulation process. And there are a digital lab implemented by Bangladesh. There are like uh, uh, above 4,000 digital lab in Bangladesh, uh, equipped with modern technology like uh, like like Core i5 PC, uh, like modern uh, configuration PC we have actually. But only 500, uh, only 4,176 school have the digital uh, lab actually. Uh, on and the other hand, 5,000 uh, digital lab are coming, where the educational institution like like nearly 100,000. So let's talk about the fake simulation system. We are working on fake simulation system, which is a pre-established simulation system uh, working with University of Colorado. They are working with this simulation system. So they have a, like 158 interactive simulation based on physics, math, biology, and different kind of like simulation or laboratory interactive we do in the laboratory. And they have different language in uh, the simulation. Already 93 languages are, are available in the simulation actually. And two, 2000, above 2000 teachers are working on the uh, interactive simulation. They have like lessons in the simulation process. So this is all about the phase simulation process. So uh, there is a only, uh, already pre-established simulation system in Bangladesh. That in the University of Colorado, it's developed by FED. So here we are talking about project, let's do it. So introduction, what we are proposing in here in Bangladesh, children and youth community don't get like uh, life literacy or like life simulation or life practical knowledge. So what we are proposing, we are proposing a FED simulation with a different perspective because they have a license procedure so we will buy this license and use the license in Bangladesh in our own language, where 98% students are getting educated in Bangladesh in our own language rather than English. English is a subject which is uh, which is taught in in schools as a different subject, but not in English version or English medium actually. So. Uh, let's uh, think about uh, what we are proposing actually. Uh, we are proposing a website of project Let's Do It with written and video tutorial. If you go to FED simulation website, there are less like content over there, like there are no written content uh, that actually uh, missing over there. And also there are uh, not available like video tutorial over there. What we are proposing, we are uh, going to provide an extra content Bengali content uh, that is that will be written in Bengali and, uh, and the video will be Bengali so everyone can everyone from Bangladesh can understand the simulation and they can use it for freely. Uh, 
and the fed simulation uh, license for bangladesh uh, we need to use the license to use it as our own name there are different category we have talked with them and they have uh, like agreed with some amount to introduce it in bangladesh actually so we are in also including these things in our project project implementation so we are proposing also the another mobile app platform that will along with accessibility where 8% of our school students are like a person with disability so don't, so they don't have the accessibility of offerings in the mobile app service so we are also pro providing a mobile app for online and offline version for the users and uh, they will uh, do it with accessibility options and free educational platform for all the, that uh, the educational system will be for free like if you go and search in the app store the fit simulation is like cost a little bit of money from the app store you have to download and you have to pay but what we will do we will uh, like pay through our pay through ourselves and we will give it to free for the students of bangladesh who are educating in bengali language so let's think look so there are some social contexts at this moment like covid 19 situation has been has been uh, like a burden for bangladesh actually the whole country got locked down actually and uh, not everyone not everyone can access the internet not everyone can have the digital device they only rarely have like uh, 15% of our population have like normal mobiles without they are using internet or using any kind of data packages so we are proposed so so are they, there is a leakage and there is a blockage of educational system they used to go to school in this time but they don't have the access to the school system at this moment and if, uh, like 89% students are uh, sitting idle in the in their home in this covid 19 situation so if there is a live simulation and content and youtube content available in our country so we can face the like educational blockage at this moment so we are proposing uh, the let's do it simulation that can sustain the educational system and that can uh, like break the all boundaries because uh, in bangladesh the like there are different class and grades system here established from like 1971 and before that so uh, people don't uh, people afraid to break the rules like i'm uh, studying in standard 6 but i'm afraid to learn from standard 7 so if there is a live and free simulation in over year so we will break the boundaries actually we will break the mental boundaries from our side that we can learn from class 7 or standard 7 so there will be no boundary for in case of getting education actually so economic like in this system like we a uh, government are implementing so many like uh, initiatives so many ngos international ngos are implementing so many projects in economic uh, perspective and there is a educational business also in bangladesh which has been shut down so to keep this thing going on we are, what we are proposing to uh, like a different a uh, live simulation system so people can learn easily like there are different kind of uh, way people can learn different like youtube video but there is no single one platform so we are proposing a single one platform for free actually without paying any money and uh, it will be available for online and offline also so if you want to download it you can use it again and again without using the internet which is we will include the html file in the in our coding so there will be no internet users in our in our app users actually so environment impact uh, there are like industry papers in bangladesh lots of trees like uh, getting carted every year lots of chemicals are imported in bangladesh for educational purposes so this will uh, like create a amount will less in a, in some concept and the tree uh, cutting uh, process will be a less because we use a lot of paper till nowadays Uh, in the modern technology in modern worlds people are using uh, lab exams uh, or uh, uh, computer simulated exams actually but still we are using papers so it will help to people learn uh, creatively in their mind and to learn something and uh, to uh, go their well being and about the environment effect like environmental uh, safety so what we are targeting we are targeting uh, like uh, bengali student people bengali loving people uh, like around the world there are millions of people who speaks in bengali actually so so this uh, site can help all the learners over the world who speaks in bengali they can like the, the site can support them actually 
free online and offline based simulation and we have already said that our, our educational system is getting like memorizing system always people try to memorize and memorize so we in here there is a creative system we are trying to establish that people will like drag and drop the button and they will see the result what is happening over there why this is happening over uh, there and it is in time and money consuming because i said it is for free cost we are pro providing it for free of cost at this moment so it will uh, time and money consuming and class three a standard three student will learn the equal to mc square equation of einstein i hope so through our app actually so thank you this is our actually prime idea so what we are proposing in here actually our simulation let's do it thank you lovely so if you could uh, just close your presentation aaron thank you, thank you very much very comprehensive and from what I'm understanding is that basically it's a, a free app that you've bought a license for and that you provide on a mobile phone and also offline. We can talk more about what that that actually means offline because I'm not quite sure. Okay. So just to just to just to the, the question hmm. that well, first is what does FET stand for? A, a FET simulation is basically, basically uh, uh, a simulation so the word, system. The P-H-E-T, is that just a... It's just a like uh, name of a simulation, actually. I don't okay. know. I'm just using the translation. Uh, I'm just engaged with the translation procedure. Okay. I just like if you had something. Procedure. Okay. Yeah, it is so, developed by university. Yeah. If you want, I can I can share you the link in here, actually. Okay. okay, yeah, stick the link in the in the chat. That's a good idea. Uh, but my, the first question was just really to understand what, what's um, driven your passion to do this. Why do you care to do this? What's important about it? Because I have I have graduated myself from government institution, so I have seen the miseries people are uh, students are suffering from. They don't understand actually what is theory, but we still memorize the thing memorize the thing and in the exam hall we give them like what we have memorized but we don't understand what is m equal to mc square equation what is the thing what is the like different variables stands for different values so we actually memorize the system to increase our education system we have competition here we have uh, we have making the system a machine system so we want to uh, uh, think creatively because if you don't think creatively, if you don't do creative things, if you don't get the result in your hand practically, you won't learn the thing actually first time. So right. it is actually memorizing, not education. Education is different than memorizing actually. Excellent. Okay, so I'll pass on to the panel. Karen, if you want to unmute. Right. Hello. Um, thank you very much for your presentation. As a, a science teacher, I'm actually involved in a lot of uh, UK organisations which are trying to bring science to young people. So your idea about the sort of simulations and actually being able to see experiments, it's excellent and it certainly is a way that works. If I could just ask a few um, clarification points. So in terms of the project you talked about that already exists, the SHAKE sort of digital lab, yeah, which sounds a, a very similar sort of si simulation type of experiments. What's the difference between that and what, what you're offering? Basically, the thing is uh, the simulation in the FET laboratory, I have shared in the chat option actually, they have already have a like FET simulation uh, website. So this content is in English, not in Bengali, not in my language. So our mother tongue in, 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 in Bengali, so people uh, don't get understand. Basically, we have like give free lessons to 100 students, actually. You have uh, seen my screen that we are uh, getting people, we are giving a, a girl a, a mobile device to use the internet simulation. So they don't understand the English better. They, they basically understand in Bengali on our own language where 98% students are getting educated in Bengali language. So what we are proposing, we are proposing Bengali language simulation, actually. And is that, is, so the, the original one you were talking about, the government-led one, is that in your, the native language, Bangla, or is that in English? I just wanted to establish the difference between the two. Okay, so we don't have any established, like uh, this kind of digital lab 
digital lab means here are this, uh, like 20 personal computer and projector and a screen actually in here. So in the digital lab means we have the accessibility in 4,000 schools here actually to use the uh, like internet to use the laptop not everyone like from the village have access to the internet or a laptop they don't have the access they don't have the capability so what they do government have implemented 4000 educational labs actually they have uh, uh, computer system pcs over there so they called it digital labs but uh, there is a difference uh, the digital lab contains pc and our digital lab contains materials that can educate people actually which is will be available in online and offline I see. And one more question, if I may. So I've actually used the FET simulations as part of my teaching. So I am a familiar with them. And you've spoken about sort of getting a license from them. What yeah. originality are you adding to the FET system that already exists? So, so are you adding extra functionality to that? Or are you simply taking the FET system as it exists and you're translating it into Bangla? Okay, ma'am. Uh, the thing is, uh, we already talked about some content, like FET simulation you are using, there are less content over there. Like before using any simulation, there should be some tutorial, like written in English. There should be some YouTube tutorial, what this button works for. Okay, so this is FET simulation, which have the only the HTML file, will give you the simulation file only. So you will like use the simulation and teach them how to use them but yeah, they don't have any content actually so what we are proposing we are proposing in bengali content for yeah. the students so they can read and learn they can uh, see the youtube content also then they can practically use the content to learn the fit simulation process actually to learn the how to do that actually uh, i see yeah. so you're well, basically so, you, yeah. so using it in bangladesh costs me a different kind of like different kind of license procedure actually so they are giving it for free, but for uh, different use or different name, you have to get a license from them. Yeah, thank you. So you're adding functionality to yes. the, the core practical. You're just getting that core practical and then you're actually adding a fair bit of functionality to make it work for Bangladesh. Okay, thank yes, you. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Karen. And John, would you like to add some? Yes, thank you, Aaron. That's, that was very clear. And as somebody not from science, I'm just wondering whether there's any equivalent in the arts, whether you need uh, to, whether there's any ambition to move beyond the simulations in STEM subjects. Like we have a, like, uh, we have a thinking that we will do some like internet, like some cartoons. Uh, that is future process based, uh, based on our prior target is to STEM, subjects and then we will move on to the history and arts actually that also important part to our culture and education and that is the future project like after like one year or two year we will like doing the things actually like uh, there will be a different cartoon and simulation where people can learn the history actually history and arts and different kind of culture what they possess actually so oh. actually, i'm interested in would the would learning in in Bengali change the the meanings of any of these kind of generic scientific concepts? Ah, Would they no, feel no. Them? <laughs> no, no, there would be no change because all the simulation I have gone through, uh, the thing is the same, the theory is the same, and there is also different Bengali uh, uh, words available for the different like key terms of science actually. So yes. there would be no difference, and we will like uh, we would sync it the workbook actually we have different great books so we will sing the words with the books actually already we have done five uh, simulation in bengali language mm -hmm. oh interesting so um just another question for me and then one more each and um, just wrap it up then if that's okay so aaron i'm just um interested in the offline you talk about the online is yeah. mobile phone right so what do you mean what does the offline look like like uh, for example one or student have example. yeah yeah for example one student have uh, his personal his or her personal computer but don't have the internet access so what he can do uh, he just can uh, grab our desktop version like if you use any software you download the desktop version right so which he, version sorry sir. Yeah. desktop version desktop 
desktop or laptop version, PC version, Windows 8, Windows 7 right. version. Okay. I see. So they can download it uh, for free from our site, and there will be a different uh, like offline platform for uh, right. using it. Okay. So, so they can use it anywhere without internet, and there will be no uh, internet using if you want to use in like offline version. But there is a limitation; we cannot show you the YouTube video in the offline because that will create a huge amount of space. That will need huge amount of space in case of download and internet. Actually, thank you. Hello, I think we have quite, uh, one. Uh, we're running out of time now, actually. But uh, any more for either of you? Would you? Like a final question, anything to add, or are we good? Because we, I mean, we could carry on talking about this for ages. <laughs> I mean, is there anything burning that you want to add? No, good. It's just very um, quickly. Could I just yes, ask? Yes, of course. Uh, is, is you, you obviously this this isn't doesn't cover accreditation, but am I right in saying that your purpose is to see beyond? It's it's to look for capability. Are you are you trying to help people's capability? rather than getting them through the hoops of education grades and Basic, so on. Basically, uh, we are working on the thinking, uh, on the brain education system actually, because right. uh, if they don't do it and they don't calculate it in their brain, they can think it in their brain, they, they won't be learning actually. So our purpose is to give the simulation to uh, test it, learn it, and like achieve it actually. So there will be a capacity okay. development, actually, uh, self-capacity development for so using our... Thank you. It's so Nijay Kuri. I'm from yeah, Bangladesh. Yeah. I know my Bengali. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. So, Thank yes, you. really fascinating and good to see you applying it so practically. Thank you for that, but we have to call it a day for now. And what will happen next is that we'll gather together and decide the decisions on how the the outcomes of these presentations are looking like and let you know hopefully by the end of this week. Okay? Okay. So, thank you so much.